changes to Concrete Palace. <laughs> I like the changes you made. Well, we've been talking about it, but, you know, as I said, it's fun under due to more important stuff. You know, he's always pretty busy, so. Yeah. I'm going to get something to drink real quick. One second. First game of the uh, Winners Bracket semifinals between Matrox and Pavel. Start off with Pavel. He's gonna grab this Mega. And a rail. Red's still up. He's gonna go through the Tully. Ooh. Takes a rail. Takes two rails. Wow. Pavel takes an early lead. Yeah, and Pavel doing it just right, moving right back to the red. Now he needs to go for the Mega uh, Matrix already. Took it. It's a bit tough to handle on this map because um, on a lot of the other new dual maps, you can position yourself in a way um, so you can observe where your opponent is going and based on that, decide if you go for, uh, for Mega or for RA. But here it's a bit difficult. Because the distance from Mega to Red isn't exactly short, except that you take the telly, but from the telly you can't tell, uh, you know, what your opponent is doing. Get LG combo from Matrox. Matrox was really low there. He was. And he, needs, he needs to get some help. And Pavel in a bad position now because the only option he has is taking the jump head, which means he would die. And he tries to do this, uh, as much damage as possible, and there's anyway, and there is an up break at that jump head. That was a bad spawn. <laughs> I kind of like how uh, moving the Mega took the focus away from that jump head room. Hmm. I think the current position is much better. Reminds me a bit of Team 6 Mega. Matrox going really aggressive here. BLG. Lots of damage. Should have taken advantage of um, Pablo taking that uh, staircase route to the right. The hell? Oh man! <laughs> I think the staircase on Sinister could be compared to the so-called staircase in death of death on DM20. Mm. Uh, hidden Fortress. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because moving up there, you are really vulnerable for uh, Raybun and LG too, and even Rockets. So you yeah, have basically no option to take a fight if you're on the staircase. Oh my god. Oh, Pavel, leaving the red armor up. Delaying it. Oh. Nice shots by Pavel through the window. And Major has no option to get in on this, he's way too fun with the uh, rockets in that corner. And Pavel uh, running all items on the map almost perfectly. Sets a trap here even for Major, who was lucky enough to hit a direct grenade. Could have play, uh, paid out really well for uh, Pavel though, and it still does, he gets it back. Uh, another spawn, like, in your face. Oh, I'm like think lagging. A lot, of, a lot of players are confused about the low tally, I think, on Sinister. When I play it, I find used as well as time. Because you think like, oh, guys are telling you, that's gonna save me. But yeah. It just brings you up in, in, in just uh, another vulnerable uh, position. So people walk towards the telly and then they realize, oh shit, we have to take the telly and fuck. <laughs> doesn't have any rag on ammo, that's why he didn't go aggressive. <laughs> yeah, and Matrox being way too optimistic there about his chances to deal damage. Relying a lot on hitting his rails, which is usually not a good idea. He's gonna secure himself on Mega, though. <sighs> and Pepper playing is quite slow now. Knowing he probably has a stack disadvantage. Oh, and Matrix going aggressive. See, and I think Matrix could have better have ever going for the 50 HP. But Matrix in control now, getting the Mega and. Going aggressive on the paddle with uh, rock jump, going to get this factory safely now because the um, paddle died and doesn't really have any weapons. Leaves the red up. Yeah, no. Well, he got, his, he got enough armor, so. Rock jumps up to get himself a safer position on Mega. They even saw Pablo though, so there, so he knows where he is. Great move by Matrox, stealing away that YA from Pablo. That leaves him with pretty much nothing now, and he can fall back onto the red arm the Ooh, 
nice throw by Pavel. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I wonder if people are going to use the window more in the future, you know, what used to be the railgun window. Oh, yeah. Because I, have, I haven't seen anyone going for a rail through that. It's probably a risky setup anyway because it's pretty hard to hit someone there. And this is going to be a kill, yeah. That jump hack can be really deadly. <coughs> 50 seconds here to do three fags. If he gets this kill... Uh, Nice, Alright, let's see where he's gonna spawn. I think probably later spawn. Pretty sure. <coughs> and if I was Matrox now, I would have considered uh, going for the low rock launcher and taking the Teddy. That's pretty much game right here, so Powell's gonna take the first game. Yeah. Not enough time. Have a laser spawns. <coughs> So yeah, it was a pretty good game. It was pretty good, it was pretty even with the red and mega pickups. Secure. Pavel said he never played this map. So. I, I, he said he never plays it. Maybe he just doesn't play it much. I don't know, we will see. I could imagine it to be a pretty even game anyway. I've been practicing the circle jump to the plasma gun. A lot of players don't do that. Aside for someone who likes to do a rocket jump there instead. Start off with Matrox. Yeah. And Matrox spawning at the Mega Health gets his gets himself an G and the green armor is going to drop a Mega. He needs to be careful not to do, uh, get a rave here. Ooh. It turned out pretty well for me, trust. I think that I should have just waited at the low corner corridor between RA and YA and tried to hit a rail on the trust. Because it's a pretty common style for the map. Oh, he does not take a lot of rocket damage picking up that red. No, that's pretty bad for Pavel. I wonder why Matrox didn't try to get the rail angle there. Yeah, he, doesn't have, he doesn't have a rail yet. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's weird, Matrox didn't go for a rail yet. No, well, now he is. Yeah, it's... I don't know. He's delaying He's the red. One of, one of the first things I do. Close, close to getting a perfect rotation. I think he should take the telly because that would give him a better position for uh, hitting rockets. He should. Oh, oh my god, it's so fortunate. Close. I must say Matrox's position was really bad in that situation. And it could have done a lot worse for him. Now when you're in a situation like Pavel right now, sitting behind, uh, sitting behind the pillar, you can also walk um, over the 
small ledge on the bottom of the pillar and hop over the pool. A lot of people don't expect that. I think that's something players are yet to figure out. Chalk's picking up another red. Uh, and he's getting that mega cleanly. And he's 200 200 now with the power trapped on the YA. Yeah, and that was the only option he had pretty much rocket jumping out, which killed all of the gains he had from the YA. Ooh. And you get those situations a lot in this corridor at the sh uh, when shards are that um, you get trapped in a corner and the other player is setting up a rail angle. Gotta be really careful to avoid those situations. Let's have a shooting some good rockets here. Oh, good this rockets by Pavel. Yeah, one more would have done. But it was good, this was good damage. He's gonna get this YA surely, yes, and hits another good rocket. So this went pretty well for Pelo, the sticks are equal now. And Matrox way too early for this red, which means uh, Pavel's gonna get it. He's gonna have this mega though, oh no, Pavel's waiting for it. He might actually get this red. Uh, this There's a full mistake. circle, oh this my goodness. Mistake, yeah. He could have gotten that red and gotten the Mega 2 if he, you know, paid a bit more attention to where Metros was moving. Alright, red's up again. Well, Pavel's not doing that bad, even though he's only played this map a couple of times. Well, Pavel needs to, um, to step up his decision making to get onto the items. Um, if you look at the scoreboard, Matrox actually, actually had a big item advantage over the past minutes, while Pavel actually did a lot more damage. So if Pavel, if Pavel can sort it out and uh, get himself onto the items without taking too much, da too much damage, he can totally uh, bring back this game as he's got enough time too. But that's just it, you know, have a barely doing any damage in that rocket fight and getting a rail too. However, Pavel actually has better stack than Matrox right now. But again, those initial rockets just don't do it. He just needs to hit one good rocket to open the fight in a way that he, that he can, you know, benefit from it. There we go. Good rockets. Oh, oh I just can't finish it. Matrox so low and have a rage. <laughs> Killed himself there. Matrox was on uh, 24 HP. And Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, Pavel doesn't even need to go that aggressive in this situation. Could have tried cutting off Matrox at the 50 HP instead. Oh, I guess that's it. No, first.
pretty sure it's game over. Yeah, should be. I wonder be. what map three is gonna be. Touch what I picked that he did. Delirio, please. Just GG, bro. I think it's alright to just GG sometimes when the game's over. Well, that makes sense um, to play it to the end, to collect yourself, um, get ready for the next map, you know, develop uh, a better attitude, get rid of the negative thoughts. Should be playing ins now, by the way. Who should be playing ins? Rotella. Oh. And the winner of that is going to play Ash, and I think um, Demon yeah, will play a loser of this game or the next map. Since there's going to be another one. Alright, game three. Lots of game threes today. So delirium fuse and silence left, and I think it's drop drop. I want to see Delirium. Yeah, no, Pavel brought, uh, dropped Delirium. And I'm sure Matrox is gonna drop Silence. Oh, man. Because Pavel is pretty good on it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, thoughts on because, you know, we saw Pavel's performance in Silence before. It's really good in that map. Hopefully another good game on Fuse. Every game so far has been really close today. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, we've seen games that were pretty close on back and forth on Sinister 2. It might be because um, you know, players uh, haven't really figured out a strategy what to do in control and how to lock down the maps. Ooh. Just, a, just a theory, so. Let's we'll start with Pavel. Yeah. Three, two, one. Fight. So yeah, Pavel getting uh, PG spawn. on a rocket jump to Mega now, or not? Leaves Mega up. The hell is Matrox doing? Oh. Picks up a rail. Yeah. Oh, Matrox. 
Aatrox. I was a bit early for this mech, I was not the best position to be in. Whoa. Why would Matrox jump? Yeah, exactly, why would he jump over? It's so dangerous, especially uh, since Pebble could either rail him or shock him, he would fall down either way. And he takes a dive off, so it's really bad. And there's the first track of Pebble. Both the yellows coming up on him, make Matrox getting one boss is surely going to be enough for him. And Pablo ignoring the yellow armor and moving over to the red, I guess. Yeah, Manchark's jumping from the uh, red as it spawns. Pretty unlucky. And Manchark's is just not doing any damage. These engagements, yeah, barely any damage. I don't know how much he played the map. Yeah, at all. Again, he jumps into the shaft. <laughs> oh, this is getting out of hand. Yeah. I think even if. Um, Matos gets control within the next minute. It's going to be really hard. And there we go, the 25 HP saves power. And Red is about to spawn. Well, I think Matos got the spawn at PG, so he's kept Red trying to do damage. But it didn't work out for him. Probably could have just gone through the telly and tried to hit me. And that's just really bad. Pavel just extending this lead. Yeah, I think Matrox is not really familiar with the map. <sighs> Pavel failed to jump two times in a row. Aatrox can't hit a rail. Aye. Good prediction now. Probably looking for the shot through the shots for left. Finally hits one. Alright, later, Sculpe. Thanks for watching. Oh, Megazord. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see Metros coming back into this, so. I mean, his stack's looking much better than before. It's better than Pavel. Yeah. I don't know, he's still playing, maybe he already got the, uh, you know, game marked as done in his head. Some two frags. Might get a third right here. 
Pavel just yeah. running in circles. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Oh my goodness! I thought Matrox was about to pull that off. Alright, so uh, unless a miracle happens, we're gonna have Pavel versus Cypher in the winner's bracket finals. Hey. That's gonna be a good series. another rail I'm really curious why one of the players wants to play Delirium Wait what? Why uh, all the players removed Delirium I don't know Maybe they just don't know it Yo, you think Cypher is gonna pick Cure because uh, Pavel doesn't know it? <laughs> he was on the server when Pavel said he doesn't know this map. Uh, That's gonna be like potentially. a. Potentially.